there, you creepy crawly! If you get lost here, nobody's going to save your ass. You mean my head? Head? Ass? With some people, it's the same thing. I'm going to crush a few spells now! get to use my weapon!
Going to make a mess out of your flip! Bloody shadows! I'm going to crush a few skulls! To make a <laughs> <Bloody> shadows. <laughs> Thank you.
shadows. I'm going to make a hat out of your skin. Fuzzy shadows. I'm going to make a hat out of your skin. is also your weakness, you monster! Ah, oh, there you are. Didn't think you were coming anymore, old bastard. Do I know you? Sure. You're the guy in my dreams. Right, not interested. No need to wet yourself. I didn't mean it like that. I'm Roscoe, the man who is going to make you rich. Our encounter is a sign. The dead wanted it this way, believe me. The dead speak to you. Yeah, it's my old man, if you must know. He was a big deal among the pirates once. And now he's blathering non-stop in my dreams. He told me that someone would come and help me. And that person is you. Aren't you afraid of the shadows? Nope. I'm betting on my good luck. Besides, I'll be able to afford an entire army soon. I'd like to see which creature dares approach me then. And at the moment, you're here. 
Who else could pose a threat to us? You want to make me rich? How's that supposed to work? I'll share my treasure with you. Easy as that. All you need to do is help me find it. I tell you, there are at least 5,000 gold coins in it for you. What's the catch? No catch. I'm not one of them crooks of the Inquisition. Their dealings stink to high heaven, but this one is genuine. You got my word for it, on my honour. So, how about it? Can I count you in or not? Take me to your treasure. Finally, my dreams are coming true. We'll be bathing in gold soon. We can buy the most gorgeous... Oh. Yeah, yeah, start walking. Good. Make sure none of those shadow things ambush us. Let's go. So, what are you going to buy first? I think I'll buy myself a sumptuous residence first. And the title of governor. And of course, a governor needs his own battleship with lots of big guns. Don't dawdle. Here we are. I can't see any treasure. Of course you can't. It'll be buried. Here, take this map. This will make your search easier. You'll also need a shovel. You can have mine. And when you find the treasure, grab as much of it as you can carry. The only thing in the treasure chest was a rusty fork. A rusty fork? Let me see it. Damn. That's mine. Yours? I, uh, got the maps mixed up. I was wondering why this place looks so familiar. Why are you hiding a fork? A real pirate has got to bury something. A fork was the only thing I could spare. Let's not waste any time, though. Here, this should be the right map. You best go on and try to dig up the treasure. You're coming as well. You get a head start. I have to rest first. All this walking. The sand in my boots. It's enough to wear out an ogre. Come back to me when you've found it. It shouldn't take long with that map and we'll take equal shares as agreed.
Split a few throats! I found your treasure. And? Don't keep me in suspense. How much gold are we talking about? A thousand? Ten thousand? Come on, tell me. The chest only had a mirror in it. A mirror? That can't be right. You must have found the wrong chest. Why would my father bury a mirror? He told me he hid the greatest treasure anyone has ever seen. It's got to be here somewhere. We'll dig up the whole island if need be. Follow me. Oh, wow. The ladies will be swarming around me. I'd marry three or four of them right on the spot.
I'm sure the treasure is here. Gold, rubies, precious stones, it will all belong to us. So, grab your shovel and dig a few holes. Eventually, we will hit upon the right chest. You want the treasure, then you dig. Pa! Give me the shovel. Now, I'll show you how a real pirate does it. You'll see. I'll find the treasure before you encounter free. Damn. I've been digging for hours, and I found nothing. Absolutely nothing. By now, I should have found a mountain of coins. No shit. Oh, blimey. Your journey is over. My son has failed. He did not know how to honor my legacy. He shall follow me into the underworld. Father! What? No! And now you. Tell me, what is the greatest treasure a man could ever see? Myself. Your answer was wise. The mirror shows our image, and our existence is more valuable than any coin we can carry. As thanks, I would like to give you this diamond. Let its purity be a symbol during your journey. Farewell, human. Fuck me, what a story. He almost always managed to evade the blows the undead dealt. But once, his cuirass was destroyed. He kept the cuirass as a lucky charm, and buried it with his treasure on Antigua in the back country. Good to know. I get to use my weapon! <clears throat> Bloody shadows! I have no meat to roast.
I don't have time to clear out this cave right now. Maybe later. Finally, somebody called for me. I thought I'd been forgotten. Nobody sent me. Damn. I was hoping somebody would take care of the two soldiers up there. The vermin from the Inquisition just took my lighthouse. Even the pirates had more honor in their bones. I'm looking for a pirate called Patty. Patty? You're not talking about Steelbeard's daughter, are you? Exactly. You know her then? She was here a while ago, but didn't stay long. As far as I know, she sailed to Kila with a gang of pirates. I hope this will help you in your search. What can you tell me about Takarigua? Trade was flourishing when Governor Di Fuego still ruled Puerto Sacarico. Now it's occupied by that damned Inquisition. I'd love to know what's going on in Puerto Sacarico. The last news I heard was none too happy. Sounds like they'll lynch any stranger. Where is this Puerto Sacarico exactly? Northwest of here. But be very careful. Dangers are lurking everywhere on Takarigua. Right. So what's the quickest way to Puerto Sacarico? Go inland. Not far from here, you'll find a soldier called Vasco, who has set up camp in the north. His camp is on the direct route to Puerto Sacarico. Thanks. I'm sure I'll find it. But take good care. The jungle is perilous. What do you know about the Inquisition? They used to just sit on their fat asses and leave us simple folk in peace. But since these skull caves have appeared, things have gone haywire. Their commandant, Sebastiano, sent out his scouts. But instead of doing their job, they've taken my lighthouse and are lazing about. A stranger the Inquisition want to string up. Well, I don't know much about him. He's supposed to be in league with the mages. The soldiers won't be pleased to see that. You should hurry if you want to save his backside. I'll have a look around in Puerto Sacarico for you. That's nice of you, lad. We don't get much news out here. Ever thought of breeding homing pigeons? Homing pigeons? Ah, oh, forget it. Didn't pirates used to be on Takarigua? They're all gone, or dead. Their hideout in the east was utterly destroyed. Nobody goes there anymore. The shadows control the land now. About your problem with the soldiers. Any idea how I could drive them away? A few punches would be enough to scare off Tanner, but Holtby? Ah, you'd have to get some incriminating evidence. Just talk to him. Maybe something will arise. 
I'll do it. Good. You'll find them on constant patrol. I'm just too old, and I want to be left alone. This time... Hey, you. Report here. On the double. Do you really think you can cheat your way through here like that? Want to try being a bit more polite? Don't you get smart with me, shitbird. Or you'll end up like Jack, the lighthouse keeper. What do you want from me? That's better. Grab a broom. I want you to clean this pigsty of a tower till it shines like a new pin. So happy to oblige. It's yes, sir. There's no better work for day laborers like you anyway. Now, will you kindly get down to work? Maybe your father didn't thrash you soundly enough. Is that it? Watch your tongue or you'll be in trouble. Ever considered not laying it on so thick? Now, don't give me that. You might be able to impress a chick at the harbour with your useless drivel, but not me. So take your bloody coin and go and find a shoulder to cry on. The main thing is you don't get on my tits. Has someone ever given you a proper kicking? You're just asking for it, aren't you? A wimp like you doesn't have it in him. I'm thinking, I might smash your face in. You? <laughs> this is gonna be a laugh. Get over here. That's it! Rip his head off! Poke him in the eye! My head is pounding. Fuck the fuck off. Your own medicine often tastes the worse. Oh, spare me your clever talk. From now on, you will do whatever I say. All right? All right, okay. Calm down. Can you teach me something? For the right price? Teach me how to inflict more damage on undead beings. Of course, no problem. Teach me to be more effective at intimidating people. Okay. Teach me to be more effective at intimidating people. Of course, no problem. You are now going to make the lighthouse spick and span. He who's dealing with an injury doesn't have to worry about the insults. Come on, I want to see the dust rise. I knew I should have stayed in bed.
Hey, civilian, are you lost? I'm just having a look around. You can't just look around here. This is a war zone. A war zone? It seems so quiet and peaceful. Really? I look further to the east. I'm telling you, there's all hell loose over there. So what are you doing here? Why aren't you in the east? Because Tanner gave Jack the lighthouse keeper a good ass kicking. Let him deal with it. <laughs> you seem to take your orders seriously. Don't do a job that others could do better for you. How many of you soldiers are there on Takarigua? Most of the unit is in Puerto Sacarico. Some fresh meat and Commandant Sebastiano, but not many are left. But we're well rid of them. Raw recruits just don't have what it takes. What are you doing up here, other than guard duty? Seeing to my retirement. What? That really gets you thinking, doesn't it? Think about it. I'll figure you out eventually. Enjoy that. But just so you know, you have no business loitering about below the lighthouse. Hey, stop doing that! Do you think I'm blind? You're Jack's replacement. Go to the beach. And if I don't want to? I didn't ask for your opinion. To the beach, march. 
Yeah, yeah. At least I don't have to look at your mug anymore. I found your diary. What? You're not permitted to snoop around the tower. Just wait until I tell Tanner. Tanner already got what was coming to him. So you'd better hold your tongue. You think you're so clever, don't you? You stole from the lighthouse keeper. Bah. You think that's true just because you read it in my diary? Without the thing I was supposed to have stolen, you can't prove shit.
That's lucky. I've got your diary, and the booty. Now talk. Da, damn it. Da, shit. I confess, I robbed Jack. So what are you gonna do about it? the gold. What am I gonna do without my gold? Start saving. This is all the gold I have. So, we're quits now? Well, you leave me no choice. New order. Guard the mangroves. But you... Just gave you an order. March. <sighs> About your problem with the soldiers. You can go back to your lighthouse. Thought I'd never be rid of those two. Thanks, lad. No more sand in my boots. Here, for you. Here. Holby stole this from you. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Take this. 
It's better off in your pockets than his. Leave me alone. I'm sure you've got more gold on you. No, I've given you everything I had. You can't squeeze blood from a stone. I'll decide what I can and can't do. You really are the most miserable bastard I know. Yeah, this thing is probably worth a few coin. I hope it brings you nothing but bad luck. 